Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to Wu Can Cook. My name is Wesley, and this is a show where we are slowly cooking our way through all of the food from my childhood. Today, we're diving back into our series dedicated to deconstructing Americanized Chinese cuisine with a shot at the P.F. Chang's dish known as ginger chicken with broccoli. For those new to the channel in this series, we have been deconstructing iconically Americanized dishes from Chinese cuisine and seeing what it might look like if we were to reconstruct the dish through the lens of more traditional Chinese wok cooking. Now, ginger chicken, of course, is not a complicated concept. It's basically a stir fry made with ginger, chicken, and broccoli. Pretty straightforward enough. What does jump off the page from their menu description, however, is that this dish specifically calls for steamed broccoli, which is a very European approach to a vegetable in a stir fry. Broccoli, of course, being a very dense and durable veggie, is commonly par cooked with a quick blanch or steam to tenderize it before it goes into the pan, resulting in a more tender piece of broccoli to pair with your chicken. My personal favorite way of stir frying broccoli, however, is to slice it into longer, thinner spears, replicating the size and shape of Chinese broccoli or gai lan, which is a little bit more friendly in flash cooks and stir fries. So today I thought I'd do something a little bit different and instead of trying to come up with a better version of ginger chicken, what we're going to do instead is cook the exact same dish with the exact same ingredients, but using two wildly different approaches to wok cooking, one using steamed broccoli florets and the second approach using flash fried broccoli spears. The result I hope should be an interesting dive into how to cook broccoli. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so kicking things off here first with our steamed version of ginger chicken, we're starting off with some aromatic veggies here to first form the fundamental aromatics of our stir fry. This is four cloves of crushed and minced garlic to start, followed by one inch or about one tablespoon of fine minced ginger, and finally four green onions, which we're separating by their whites and greens, then slicing the whites up thinly for our stir fry and the greens on a bias for our finishing garnish. Next up, moving on to our broccoli here. Once again, in the P.F. Chang's version, they are making use of broccoli florets, which is to say essentially a shorter stem portion with a wider leafy portion on top. I like to call these the tiny tree shape. Due to the wider and chunkier shape that we have here though, these florets need a longer cook time to tenderize, making it less ideal for a flash fry. If we were to try and just stir fry these right away, they'll probably come out undercooked and chewy, hence the steam coming up. Next up is our chicken. Now, if I had to guess, I'm pretty sure that this is white meat chicken breast that they're using in the P.F. Chang's version, but this is some chicken thigh that I'm going with instead, which will have a little bit more fat, resulting in a better wok hay later on. More on this in a moment. We're slicing this up into half inch pieces, then adding to a mixing bowl so that we may assemble a quick marinade for this next. I'd really like to try and highlight our ginger and garlic aromatics for our stir fry today, so I'm going out of my way to keep our sauce and marinade elements fairly light and bright today. Going into my mixing bowl here is my go-to marinade with no bells and whistles at all. This is four tablespoons of soy sauce to start, followed by a half teaspoon each of white pepper and cornstarch to round it all out. I'm mixing this up to combine, then setting it aside to marinate for 30 minutes while we dive into our sauce next. Alright, so like I mentioned earlier, I'm going a bit out of my way to keep our sauce element pretty light and bright here to sort of highlight our ginger and garlic aromatics coming up. It is in the name after all. So this is four tablespoons of soy sauce to start, followed by a tablespoon each of Shaoxing wine and rice vinegar for our bright and acidic elements today. Then rounding this out is going to be two tablespoons of hoisin sauce for some sweetness and just one tablespoon of doubanjiang for a bit of heat. In a separate bowl, I'm assembling a quick cornstarch slurry to thicken up our stir fry sauce with two tablespoons of cornstarch dissolved in water that I'm mixing up and setting aside while we head over to the stove. Over on the stove, now in the original P.F. Chang's version, I believe what they're serving is literally a bed of plain steamed broccoli with chicken served on top, which is, I mean, healthy, probably. For our plating today though, I'm instead going to incorporate our steamed veggies into the stir fry itself, using a wok fry and steam technique that I like to use with particularly dense veggies like broccoli and green beans. 
I'm starting off by heating my wok up as hot as possible. Then I'm adding just two tablespoons of peanut oil and as always, long yao for that nice non-stick surface. Then here's my broccoli florets going in, which we're gonna give a quick flash fry to for about one to two minutes, just long enough to get a bit of sear and color going on. Then next, I'm adding in about a quarter cup of water and covering with a lid for five minutes while we let our broccoli tenderize in a steam. Five minutes later, I'm removing the lid, then tossing for an additional minute to burn off any residual liquid, at which point we should have some nice fork tender broccoli florets going on, like so. Next up, moving on to our stir fry, we're doing a bit of batch cooking and removing our broccoli, then adding in an additional four tablespoons of peanut oil and giving one more long yao. Then here's my chicken going in, which I'm spreading out flatly across the surface of the wok so that we may sear for two and a half minutes undisturbed, during which time our chicken fat should begin to render into a liquid form. This is going to be useful so that we may ignite it for a bit of wok hay for some smokiness to our dish, like so. For those curious, this is also a lot harder to encourage with a leaner chicken breast since there's not nearly as much fat going on. In any case, I'm tossing this for an additional minute, then removing my chicken as well so that we may take advantage of all of this fond left behind in our wok. I'm doing so by adding in my sauce next, followed by a quarter cup of water, then deglazing so that all of this fat is incorporated into our sauce. Then next, we're letting this all reduce briefly for another one to two minutes, then removing, reheating, and doing one more long yao for our third and final batch cook. Finally, here's my aromatic veggies going in. This is my garlic, ginger, and the whites of my green onions, which I'm tossing for 15 seconds until nice and fragrant. Then next, we're gonna go ahead and return everything back to the wok. Here's my chicken and steamed broccoli going in, which I'm tossing to combine, followed next by my sauce and cornstarch slurry to thicken everything up, and we're ready to eat. Okay, so to be completely honest, I think we actually strayed pretty far from our original P.F. Chang's rubric, which is truly intended to just be chicken breast on top of a bed of plain steamed broccoli, which is... bleh. That said though, I also think we stayed pretty close to our initial inspiration with our steamed broccoli, flash fried chicken, and ginger forward aromatics. And while a number of the techniques that we used here, like the wok fry and steam method, are super fundamental techniques to wok cooking, this is the same method that I like to use for frying pot stickers, for example. We were also able to incorporate a few Eurocentric techniques as well, like deglazing our fond. The result is a tender but toothsome piece of broccoli paired with a smoky, light and bright chicken and ginger stir-fry that all comes together in a single wok. Now, all of this said, next we're gonna do the exact same dish with the exact same ingredients, but using a completely different cooking method. By chopping our broccoli into longer and thinner spears instead of short and fat florets, we'll be able to quick flash fry them, yielding a smoky flash-cooked veggie without the need of a par cook. Okay, so like I mentioned, our ingredients are for the most part going to stay exactly the same, so I'm just gonna quickly run through this bit. This is four cloves of crushed and minced garlic, followed by one inch or about one tablespoon of fine minced ginger, and four green onions with the whites sliced thinly for our wok fry, and the greens reserved for our finishing garnish. Then next, this is two medium chicken thighs that I'm slicing into thin strips, adding to a mixing bowl and combining with a quick marinade of four tablespoons of soy sauce and a half teaspoon each of white pepper and cornstarch. Finally, for our sauce, this is four tablespoons of soy sauce to start, followed by a tablespoon each of Shaoxing wine and rice vinegar, and finally rounded out by two tablespoons of hoisin sauce and a single tablespoon of doubanjiang. Next, last up, is the only ingredient that we're approaching differently here. This is our broccoli, which this time I'm leaving a large portion of the stalk still attached, then slicing into these long, thin spears by removing any thicker portion of stem, and slicing the whole thing in half, like so. The thinner shape here is intended to replicate that of Chinese broccoli or gai lan, whose long, thin shape is a little bit more ideal for flash frying on high heat. Over on the stove, I have my wok heating up as hot as possible, then I'm adding four tablespoons of peanut oil, and as always, long yao for that nice non-stick surface. Then this time, I'm starting things off with a sear to my chicken thigh carefully, holding back as much liquid as possible to avoid oil splatters. Then we're spreading this out evenly across the wok, searing for two and a half minutes undisturbed, and tossing once our fat begins to render for our nice smoky wok hay. Ooh. 
Next up, since our chicken is already in the wok this time, I'm gonna go ahead and saute our aromatics with our chicken by shifting everything to one side of the wok so that we may make good solid contact with the wok surface. This is gonna help open up the aromatics of our veggies today. Here's my garlic, ginger, and the whites of my green onions going in, which we're sauteing for 15 seconds until nice and fragrant before letting this all combine with our chicken. Then I'm tossing this all to combine for another one minute before removing, reheating, and giving one more long yao for our second and final batch cook. Here's my broccoli spears going in this time, which we're sauteing for two to three minutes, just long enough to cook off some of the rawness to the broccoli. I still want it to have a good amount of bite and crunch when we plate it. Finally, I'm adding my chicken back to the wok, giving a quick toss to combine, then following up with our sauce element plus my cornstarch slurry to thicken things up, and we're ready to eat. Okay, so while this might look like a very similar result as our first attempt, it is after all the exact same ingredients, I think they actually taste pretty wildly different on the plate. Our broccoli this time is not soft and tender, but crispy and crunchy. Our flash cook without the par cook leaves it still fairly crisp, but the longer and thinner shape still aids in letting it cook the dense veggie through. Then since we didn't reduce our sauce element in fond as we did with our first attempt, I think there's a little bit more brightness to our stir fry this time where that rice vinegar and Shaoxing wine really shine through. Personally, to my taste, I think the second attempt is a little bit more like what I would expect from a Chinese stir fry. Crisp, flash cooked veggies are a fairly iconic part of wok cooking after all. Truly though, both versions are absolutely acceptable stir fries in my book, so really I hope that the takeaway here is that a stir fry isn't just about the ingredients that we use, but also about how we go about using them. A small change in the way that we prep an ingredient can yield wildly different results in the way that they cook, and ultimately the way that they taste. Okay, so that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you give this one a shot. For those who are new to the channel, this one is part of a larger series dedicated to reproducing classic Chinese American dishes, including a whole bunch of other stuff from the P.F. Chang's menu. So definitely check out that series next if you haven't yet, because there's a lot of these. For the Bay Area locals, the Wu Can Cook Fried Rice pop-up is now at Wonder Brewing in Emeryville every Thursday through Sunday. So come by and say hi then if you can. More about that at wukancook.com slash eats. As always, like, comment, subscribe, share, be nice, internetters, and I'll see you soon.